Welcome, friends of the Crawford. I'm absolutely delighted to be standing here in the lecture hall on the second lecture of our spring lecture series with none other than Peter Nash, who always um, obliges me in these very last minute quick videos. But I just thought it would be a nice idea for anybody who couldn't make it in to hear a little bit about what Peter Nash is going to be talking about today. So welcome, Peter. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, so what I'm going to be talking about today is I'm going to do a little introduction to my own practice, so some of my work and my influences and what keeps me making. And then I'm going to show a screening of a film, a stop motion animation that I made a few years back. You've really branched out into lots of different things because you've been covering um, drawing, you've been covering printmaking, um, sculpting, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's great to see your work coming up time and time again. And now this whole into stop motion animation, that's a new venture for you. Yeah, it was one that it seemed a natural progression, really, from previous work and from the automata and the kinetic sculptures. So it seemed to be the logical step, really, to make them move without mechanical means. If that makes sense. It does. And you've brought one of the models here today. This lad, uh, this is the builder. That's the only name he has. Uh, he's one of the characters in the film that we're going to show this afternoon. Now, I have seen this. I got a sneaky peek of this film, and I'm a little bit terrified of that builder. <laughs> and I'm hoping that at some point we'll be able to share the video and you'll understand why. But, um, Peter, your work is also up here on display because it's very recognisable, Peter's work. And it's in, um, in the gallery here. Do you want to tell us the name of the piece, which, in my head, every time I pass it, I call it Talking Heads, but it's not its name. It's called Doubt Ensemble, but it is a lot of Talking Heads, so... You could, you can't miss it really if you're up there. Um, and that was a piece that that developed over a few years, really, the carving and the whittling, and then the experiments with kinetic sculpture and trying to get things to move. And uh, yeah, I was very fortunate that the Crawfords purchased it back in 2021. And uh, yeah, it's on display up there, and it's I'm delighted to see it up there. Like it makes me so happy every time I go in and see people interacting with it and looking at it, it's brilliant. It not only makes you happy, Peter, it actually makes everybody happy because the amount of reaction you get when you walk past it and all of a sudden it starts chattering, it's fabulous to see and it's fabulous to watch people engaging with, with it. So well done, thanks very much for giving us your time on a very busy morning. We're really looking forward to both your talk now and your film screening. And thank you very much, Peter Nash. Thank you, thanks friends. <laughs>